All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you the Spigen case for the iPhone 10. It's a great affordable case and it offers a lot of protection on the phone and it's also very thin, so it doesn't seem too bulky or anything like that. Now, uh, the version that I got, it's the matte black version. This can be purchased on amazon.com. When I got it, I think it was uh, 10 or $15 and uh, I'll put the link to that below for you guys to go ahead and check out as well. All right, so now that I have the case out of the box, you can see it's got the matte black sides and then the clear plastic back piece here. So you have all of the inserts for your power button, the volume toggles and the mute switch, as well as the speakers and your lightning charging cable. Uh, with that regard, the wireless charging does work perfectly. And uh, as you can see here, there's also some flexibility to the case. Um, but I would consider it more of a hard plastic. Let's go ahead and insert the iPhone 10 into the case and you'll see that as far as the size comparison goes, there's not much of a difference from the iPhone to the case. So uh, that's great because it gives you that original sleek design that the iPhone comes with. And uh, you, you saw there, it kind of just pops right in and uh, we're good to go. The case does offer some protection to the front end of the screen with the elevated edges, but as always, I would recommend getting a screen protector. For the back end of the case, you also have the camera housing, which offers protection for the new iPhone 10 camera. And if it's laid on the opposite side, you don't have to worry about the camera getting scratched. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before I end the video is that I had already removed the protective film that comes with the case when you take it out of the box. Uh, on Amazon, there were a few reviews saying that the lettering was not coming off uh, once you removed the film. However, there are two uh, films that need to get removed. So you have the one that's on the back end of the case and the one that's on the front end of the case. So uh, when you are taking it out of the box, just be sure to go ahead and remove both films and you won't run into this issue. If there's something I forgot to mention or if you have questions about the speaking case, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message or send me a comment below and I'll try to return it as quickly as possible. This is my first YouTube review, so any feedback is greatly appreciated. Other than that, see you next time and uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video.